The city honors the life of a YSU student nine years after his death. Then, we'll explore local boutiques and clothing stores tailored for plus-size women. And later, YSU welcomes a new head football coach. All this and more coming up on Jambar TV. Welcome to Jambar TV. I'm Kelsey Norris. And I'm Thomas Kushner. Jamail Johnson was a business management student at YSU, soon to graduate on the track to success. He was at an off-campus fraternity party on February 6, 2011, when the unthinkable happened. A group of armed party attendees opened fire and shot and killed YSU student Jamail Johnson while trying to protect his friends. Nine years later, his act of heroism lives on in Youngstown, with his name on a street sign called Jamail E. Johnson Drive which now sits above Indiana Avenue. Johnson's mother said his character still resonates with people in the community after all this time. All of it is, was just overwhelming. The love and the support, Julius and Mo and the whole community. You know, uh, people still today comes up to me and just tell me what kind of man he was, you know. But you know, you know that, but that don't mean everybody else know that. So his, Years on this earth, to me, was short, but he did what God called him to do. A lifelong friend of Johnson's wanted the city to remember his act of heroism and for it to never be forgotten. He worked with the city council to create a street sign in his honor. Her son was loved, you know, by a lot of people that he came in contact with. And so, therefore, I wanted this to be a gift to her. And I hope I've done her proud. <laughs> oh, definitely. Johnson's mother hopes to remember this day no longer has a tragedy, but a remembrance for Johnson's act of courage. The plan that his mother has is she doesn't want any trash or any thing out of place, any dilapidated homes. She doesn't want anything on that street. So every year she decided we're going to go back there and clean it up, make sure it's good, plant some things. And um, I think that's what he would have wanted. Amanda Jorn, Jambar TV. Every student at Youngstown State University visits an academic advisor their first year of classes. But after that first year, it's up to the student to see their advisor. Frank Nolasco is an advisor in the Cliff College of Creative Arts and Communication. We always recommend that our students um, stop in once a semester. Of course, they're not required to, but I always tell our students, um, you know, if you want to come in, even if it's a five-minute conversation, hey, Frank, I'm taking these classes, right? Bang, bang, bang. And I say, yep, that looks good, and we're fine. It's pretty much up to the department, but once a student reaches a certain number of hours, they can register without seeing an academic advisor. And personally, I'd like to see that change. Um, not that, you know, young people aren't able to make decisions themselves, but curriculums can be very complicated. So sometimes just to have someone guide you through. Several colleges at YSU provide only academic advising, while others have both academic and faculty advising. Students are encouraged to reach out to their advisor to stay informed and on track. Second Harvest Food Bank reached a record of food distributions. The United States Department of Agriculture donated 11.5 million pounds of food in the year 2019. The food bank is one of 200 that receives national donations from the USDA. Second Harvest serves Mahoning, Columbiana, and Trumbull counties, and has over 150 partner agencies. Some of these agencies include St. John's on Wick Avenue and the Beatitude House. YSU students can apply for the John Bergen Entrepreneurship Prize. The scholarship is dedicated to help create a business startup or keep a student-run business afloat. Patrick Bergen, CEO of Bergen Real Estate, donated the scholarship to the Williamson College of Business Administration in honor of his father, John Bergen. Any YSU student can apply, and winners will be rewarded a $2,400 prize for their best business ideas. Patrick Bergen uh, called me uh, several months ago and was interested in establishing an award in honor of his father. Uh, and his, his father is a great community leader in Youngstown, he was the founder of Bergen Real Estate, a uh, great entrepreneur, and Patrick wanted to honor not only his father's accomplishments, but the award recognizes how his father provided Patrick with seed money when he was a young boy. 
Business and accounting students won't be able to park for free on North Phelps Street for much longer. The Williamson College of Business will install 18 new parking meters. This is only the first step of a total re-evaluation of the downtown Youngstown parking scheme. The meter prices are also increasing from 25 cents to $1.50 for, to $1.50 for the two-hour street parking. Both the city and the YSU support services and parking director agree that this is a good change for the campus. The overall membership in Greek life is down by 0.22% from the fall to spring semester. Sororities continue to gain members, but fraternities are struggling to grow. The competitive nature of recruitment and the demographics on campus factor into the decrease. 89% of YSU students commute, and 20% of YSU students are non-traditional. Here's Clay Miller, president of Sigma Tau Gamma. People who commute, maybe most of them, are in a situation where they maybe don't have quite enough money to spend on this kind of stuff because they may be commuting from home in order to save money already. They may be working another a job or two, all the while going to school, maybe even raising families or supporting other people. In their family. I think there's a lot of people at Youngstown State wear a lot of hats, and I think there's a lot more responsibility that our students have here, and they may not have enough time to give to a chapter. What started as an idea among four friends has reached a community of 189 members. This community is called the Pubcade, and its goal is to connect people interested in video games, anime, and comic books through weekly game nights in Youngstown. Jambar reporter Francis Claus has more. Malik Emdol started the Pubcade to provide people with a space to express their interest in gaming and anime with confidence. The group's meetings began at O'Donnell's in downtown Youngstown, but have since expanded to Westside Bowl and Watchtower Game Lounge in Austin Town. A community like this is very important to Youngstown because, like I've been saying, there's not really many, uh, you know, I don't want to say people, but there's not, a, there's not a culture for, you know, the video gamers and the anime watchers and the comic book nerds and things like that um, and it's just a it's just a place where we all who all share the exact same interests can kind of come together bounce ideas off of each other bounce jokes off of each other and just you know resonate off of each other's energy Abdul started the community in August 2018 but he didn't expect to reach 189 members it just mind-blowing you know and it's really cool to see other people telling people to join the community and it's really cool that you know every single day we're all talking to each other whether it's on a meme post whether it's you know just just anything it's its own uh you know like community and culture within its own essence the pubcade's weekly meeting schedule includes west side bowl at 8 p.m on mondays o'donnell's at 8 p.m on wednesdays and watchtower game lounge at 6 p.m on thursdays francis claus jambar tv Beagley Center is commonly known for hosting basketball games at YSU, but some students are visiting Beagley to take a different kind of shot. YSU Police Chief Sean Varso is instructing a marksmanship course. The class is offered by the Department of Kinesiology and Sports Science and is held in the shooting range in Beagley Center. The course is open to both beginners and advanced firearm operators. Varso's main goal is to teach proper safety techniques but he also hopes to inspire an interest in the hobby. As with any activity, practice, 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 repetition, repetition, repetition. And over the years, I've, I've you know, found that you know, we keep their targets as they're going through the, the whole semester, and there's a vast improvement on a person's accuracy as it goes through the semester. Up next, executive producer Alyssa Weston sits down with YSU student and Relay for Life Recruitment Committee Chair, Katie Biller. Katie will tell us about her involvement with Relay for Life and Gwynethon and how you can get involved too. So stay tuned after the break. Growing up, I love figuring out how things work, putting things together. I love being able to come up with an idea, design it, just the whole process of creating things. I go to school here at Youngstown State and my passion is 3D design. I chose YSU because all the equipment, the research being done here, it's like a playground for me. I'm Alex and I'm Y and Proud. You're here to be part of something bigger, to make things happen. For you, college is about knowledge being shared, and learning experiences that aren't limited to the classroom. On campus, you want to matter. It's about engaging every day, 
building relationships with students, with mentors, with the community, in the heart of a reinvented city. We are that something bigger. We are Youngstown State University and proud. You're looking to your future, preparing for your goals, and they're closer than you think. Because here, success is part of the plan. It's a place where academic and social opportunities are meant to prepare you for life, not just the next four years. You'll be equipped to face new challenges and turn hard work into a career. You're ready for your success to take root. And here's where it starts. We are Youngstown State University and proud. Wait, what? What's going on right now? Yeah, man. Exercise. I don't know. I don't know if I should even be talking to you right now. It's got lots of benefits. Mm. Okay. The benefits of exercise include increased levels of energy, higher quality of sleep, better muscle and bone strength, improved memory, and clearer skin. Welcome back to JMR TV. Today I'm joined with Katie Biller, who is the YSU Recruitment Committee Chair for Relay for Life. Katie, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. So how is Relay for Life looking to expand their goal this year? Yeah, so um, I mean, it's pretty easy. Over the past couple of years, we've really just been growing as an organization. So I know two, three years ago, we started with maybe a handful of students um, and an advisor, and we raised like maybe $10,000 to have last year. We had to raise our goal three or four times. So, I mean, we're just kind of looking to build off that momentum a little bit with this year. Yeah, so I know a big part of kind of raising that goal is having different fundraising opportunities. And this week is Paint Your Campus Purple Week. So can you tell us what that means? All right, so Paint Your Campus Purple Week is really just um, the exec team kind of coming together to plan this week-long um, event. So it's supposed to be educational um, activities, just really to raise awareness not only for our event we have here on campus, but also the American Cancer Society. So, like you just said, you've been involved in this organization for a few years now. Um, why is Relay so important to you? Um, so, it really kind of started back at home. Um, we had two local high school boys diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. Um, so, that was kind of really what got me interested in being something bigger than myself. So, I know that I can say I was a part of um, ending cancer for the next generation. So no other family or boy or girl had to hear the words that you have cancer and take on that fight alone yeah. at least. And, you know, and you're not just only do, being part of it yourself, but you're part of a, a bigger thing, trying to get so many other people involved. So, um, And you're also involved in Gwynethon, which is another great cause. So for our viewers who don't know what Gwynethon is, it's this weekend. Do you want to tell them a little bit about it? Yeah, so Gwynethon is um, a year-long fundraiser, much like Relay, but they raise money specifically for the Akron Children's Hospital Miracle Network. So Ours goes to the oh, Akron Children's Hospital, Mahoning Valley, so all the money that they raise throughout the year goes there, and that's really just um, with a focus on kids. It's to help the hospital and the Miracle Network hospitals keep on their promise of never turning away anyone regardless of their needs or financial status. So Gwynethon is a dance marathon, right? Do you kind of want to tell them about that part of it all? Yeah, so the actual main event is really just a giant celebration. It's eight hours long where um, everybody who raised um, their minimum of $50 comes together to really just dance. So throughout the eight hours, we learn this miracle morale dance. Um, we get to meet some of the miracle families. So um, really just and hear their testimonies about how the hospital helped them and their struggle with whatever their child was going through. It's a really awesome event, you know, lots of tears, but also lots of fun. So, yeah, you're just talking about dancing this weekend. I'm really curious, how do you plan on getting down on the <laughs> dance floor with that boot on your foot? So, um, you know, it's a struggle. We made some modifications, I mean, for me, um, during, like, the rehearsals for the Miracle Dance, but... I mean, it's something that I plan on trucking through. I mean, I have a lot of excitement about it, so it'll be interesting, but we're going to do it. <laughs> so uh, for the people who aren't already involved in Relay and uh, Gwynethon, how can we get involved? 
All right. So um, actually, the way I got involved, I know Gwynefon has a little bit of a different process. They have a number you can text. They'll text you the link. But um, Relay, it's really just interacting with social media. So our link is relay.org slash Youngstown. But I mean, it's really just interacting with the social media. We'll send you all the information, answer any kind of questions we have, um, really to just walk you through the process. So it's both are really great causes and super easy. Everything's online. So, Do you have any expectations for the weekend for, for um, Gwynethon, rather? Yeah, so Gwynethon, I mean, this is my fourth year doing it. So they've been on campus for four years. Um, it's every year it just gets bigger and better. There's always more students. Um, the dance just gets better, um, so I'm expecting a lot of high energy, um, not only from the students, but also the Miracle Kids that are going to be there. It's just a great event. Oh, well, thank you so much for being here. I know you're recently engaged, so also congratulations <laughs> on your engagement. Thank you. <laughs> Up next, Abigail will give us a weekly update on arts and entertainment in Youngstown, so stay with us. The feeling when my hands are on the piano, it's become comforting. It's somewhere that I can express myself. I go to Youngstown State University and my passion is playing music. YSU is allowing me to take what I love and turn it into a career and do it every single day of my life. I'm Alyssa and I'm YN Proud. YSU English invites you to explore the more than 100 classes we have to offer. Students have the chance to read the classics and to discover classics in the making, to encounter the many voices in literature, and explore their own voices creatively. Students can develop practical skills for the professional marketplace in technical and business writing classes. They can study linguistics, education, and second language acquisition, and even film and screenwriting. Come see what YSU English has to offer you. Hey kid, you wanna try some exercise? Wait, what? What's going on right now? Yeah man, exercise. I don't know. I don't know if I should even be talking to you right now. It's got lots of benefits. Mm. Okay. The benefits of exercise include increased levels of energy, higher quality of sleep, better muscle and bone strength, improved memory, and clearer skin. Welcome back to Jambar TV. I'm Abigail Cloutier. Five local musicians and bands competed in a battle of the bands at Westside Bowl earlier this month. Penguin Productions put on the event, letting the audience choose the winner. This year's victor, Fifth in Aurora, is guaranteed a performance at Federal Frenzy in April. This year, Penguin Productions is accepting performers from the Youngstown community. Last year, we had 16 student bands. I'm not sure the exact number we're going to have this year, but probably around that number. And um, this year we also opened it up to, um, you don't have to be a YSU affiliated act anymore. We used to require that you were a student, alumni, faculty, or staff member, but we had a lot of just Youngstown community members. The fellow student you held the door open for, or the quieter kid who sits next to you in class. Many of these YSU students and graduates lead double lives. By day, they attend classes and go to work, but by night, they light up the stage and play music. Jambar reporter Kelsey Norris has more. One group of musicians taking Youngstown by storm is Fifth and Aurora. Founding member Lou Rivera and lead singer graduated in 2019 from YSU. Fellow band member James Greenewalt and his friends use their time playing together to unwind. The older I get, the more I realize that music is definitely an escape from reality and you can write about anything, whether you're sad, whether you're happy, whether you're angry, your music really um, is a direct link to your feelings. The band has performed at local venues and events, most notably Federal Frenzy, which is hosted by YSU's Penguin Productions. With a growing popularity and more performances on the way, Fifth and Aurora has advice for up and coming musicians. Well, I don't think you should ever change it just because the guy, you know, to the left of you is doing something different or if that's working or if that's not working. I think you should just 
you know, stay true to yourself, stay true to your music. And I mean, I don't think you should go into this expecting I'm gonna get famous from it. I think you should you should do it because you love it. Krista Ritz is a sophomore journalism major. Her greatest passion in life is music and singing in front of live audiences. Ritz currently performs with three local bands, as well as attends classes and works part-time jobs. But to this go-getter, the busy schedule isn't so bad. I've been singing my whole life, um, but my favorite part about it is just connecting with the audience. Like, I'm an introvert myself, um, so being a singer, you can connect with uh, the audience on a different level, rather than just like speaking them, to them directly. Writing music, I, I, I try to write music, <laughs> um, and I actually finished a song and for me that was kind of big because I never really finished something that I um, was proud of. For Jambar TV, I'm Kelsey Norris. Are you ready to put on your dancing shoes for a good cause this weekend? Here's more from Student Activities. Hi, welcome to the Student Activities Minute. My name is JC Watt. I am the Executive Director of Gwynethon. So Gwynethon is YSU's Dance Marathon. We raise funds and awareness all year for Akron Children's Hospital, Mahoning Valley. So we hold different events and things. This year, our event is February 22nd, so that is this Saturday. Um, if you'd like to learn more information about Gwynethon and what we do, you can visit gwynethon.ysu.edu or check us out on social media. Next week on Thursday, February 27th, you can learn more about the importance of the 2020 census. There is 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. or 4 to 5 p.m. These results impact the community with funding, congressional representation, representation, and more. You can visit 2020census.gov for more information. Finally, you can join YSU Campus Rec and student activities on a bus trip to the Cavs versus the Sacramento Kings basketball game. To purchase your ticket, you can visit store.reccenter.ysu.edu. So I am JC Watt, and thank you for tuning in for this week's Student Activities Minute. Plus size women now have more clothing options in Youngstown with two boutiques that encourage customers to embrace their curves. The Big Girl Swag Mobile Boutique Bus has been rolling around Youngstown since February 1st and carries sizes extra large to 6X. Another shop that brings trendy plus size fashion to Youngstown is Love Thy Curves Plus Side Consignment, Consignment Boutique. Both stores aim to provide cheaper shopping experience and more sizes than larger retail stores. You didn't want to stand out because if you were a big girl, you didn't want to be known. You just wanted to blend in. Now it's more loud and proud. We get the big prints, the bright colors, so it's a lot better. To keep updated on the latest plus size fashion, visit Big Girl Swag by Keisha and Love Thy Curves on Facebook. Up next, Dom will discuss how the university is both welcoming a new head football coach and remembering YSU athletes of the past, so stay tuned. Indianapolis, the heart of hoops hysteria. And beginning in March, the home of the Horizon League Men's and Women's Basketball Championships. Eight teams look to reach the horizon and punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Semifinal action takes place Monday, March 9th, and Horizon League champions are crowned Tuesday, March 10th. Visit horizonleague.com for more information and to score your tickets today. The environment in the hospital can be very intense for a patient. Being able to put a smile on their face brightens up my day. I go to Youngstown State University and my passion is nursing. What I love about studying nursing is that it takes you out of the classroom and into the lab. It's really hands-on. The professors here push you to be your absolute best, so if you want it, you gotta work hard for it. I am so excited about my future. I'm Shantiana, and I am why I'm proud. You're not waiting to see what the world has in store for you. It's more about what you have in store for the world. All you need is the opportunity. All you need are the resources of a large university and the advantages of a personalized academic setting where you can experience new worlds in the arts and sciences, business, and education, and make them your own. We are where you shape your future. We are Youngstown State University and proud.
As a former quarterback here at Youngstown State, I understand what it takes to be the very best. By becoming a member of the Penguin Club, you can help provide the support necessary for all YSU student athletes to be their very best. You'll receive great benefits like priority season tickets, game day parking, and access to hospitality rooms. To join the Penguin Club, call 330-941-1YSU or go to YSUsports.com. Welcome back to Jambar TV. I'm Dom Joseph. The YSU football team announced a new head coach, Doug Phillips. Phillips is the former head coach of Springfield Local, and during his tenure there, Phillips led the Tigers to back-to-back -back state championships. Phillips started his coaching career as a graduate assistant under YSU president Jim Tressel nearly 30 years ago at YSU. The new coach received a standing ovation by the home crowd at the men's basketball game against Cleveland State University on February 8th. Eight former YSU students were recently inducted into the YSU Athletics Hall of Fame. 170 people attended the event to honor the new inductees. The class featured one contributor and three former football players, as well as standoff performers in track and field, volleyball, basketball, and baseball. In addition to the induction ceremony, inductees were honored during halftime of the men's basketball game against Cleveland State. The YSU baseball team has a winning record for the first time in nearly a decade. The Penguins are 2-1 on the season after a road series against the University of Houston last weekend. Sophomore Steven Desanio and freshman Andre Good each hit two home runs during the series. Production from the underclassmen is expected, according to head coach Dan Bertolini, and he knows he'll need his young players to continue to do well going forward. It's great for our team when, when everyone can contribute, um, but it's especially good when, when your young guys are able to, to go in there without any kind of nerves and just go execute. The team is already back on the road for another weekend series and will face the College of Charleston before heading back to Texas next week. Now the YSU softball team is 3-2 to start off the season. Improving every game is a primary focus to keep the hot start going in 2020. And they did a good job, you know, competing to get back into that. But um, being 3-2 starting off the season, you know, being that we've been inside, indoors, um, and most of those teams have been on the dirt. Uh, it makes, a, makes it uh, feel a little bit a little bit good there. I think it's um, a really good tone setter for us. This is the best we've started in my four years here. Um, but we always can improve, we always can be better, but it's a good start and we can build from here. After a weekend off, the team returns to action today at the Pirate Classic, hosted by Hampton University. But guys, a new head football coach is here at Youngstown State, and Doug Phillips, what do you think? I, know, I wish him all the luck, but the question is, what's going to happen to Bo Pelini? Oh my goodness, who knows? I mean, I know he's off to LSU, but will he have the same success at LSU? We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, it's really great that he gets to return to LSU after he'd been there a couple years ago, but it'll mm -hmm. be nice to be back in the bayou. Absolutely. That's right. So thanks for tuning in to Jambar TV. For more information on stories and additional content, check out our website or pick up a copy of the Jambar today. I'm Kelsey Norris. And I'm Thomas Kushner. We'll see you next Friday at noon, Penguins. levels of energy, higher quality of sleep, better muscle and bone strength, improved memory, and clearer skin. YSU English invites you to explore the more than 100 classes we have to offer. Students have the chance to read the classics and to discover classics in the making, to encounter the many voices in literature, and explore their own voices creatively. Students can develop practical skills for the professional marketplace in technical and business writing classes. They can study linguistics, education, and second language acquisition. 
and even film and screenwriting. Come see what YSU English has to offer you.